When you add a marker to a map, the marker is populated automatically with an info window, and the info window will display information about the marker that you've passed in. In the current version of the project named Info Windows, the method setMarker is creating a marker options object and calling its title method. The value that's passed in is either a literal string, if it's the current location, or the locality, if it's a geocode. And in the map, when the user touches the icon, the info window pops up because that value has been passed in as the title. You can pass in other information into the info window as well. For example, in this version of the project, I've modified this method to accept a value called country. And if the user entered a value and we got this location through geocoding, that value is being passed in from the located address. If we're creating the marker from the current location though, I'm just passing in a blank string. So I'm going to add a bit of code here and check the country value and see if it's blank. If country.length is greater than zero, and if that condition is true, I'll then say options.snippet, and I'll pass in the country value. When I run the application again, I'll type NY for New York, touch the icon, and now the country is displayed as the snippet. But if I go to a location using the current location button and then look at the info window, I won't have that snippet because there's no country value associated with that. So that's the default info window. You can also customize the info window with your own code, and I'll show you how to do that in the next movie.